Hello everyone. Now this video is one real case study for um, uh, the FL user in Indonesia. Now they can find out for this Rosewood family, and they have backup the ROM, generate the unlock ROM, and send the unlock key to get the drive unlocked. Then they can access to this firmware error, and uh, also. Uh, they have backup the important as well as files and we can see the failure is the capacity is zero and in the com terminal we have uh, tried to regenerate the translator and but finally we get the partial sector access problem Now we can try to uh, access the F3T prompt. And see, now we can see that we, and confirm uh, the drive is still in unlocked status. So we can continue the firmware repair. Um, now we can find out what's the current status. So capacity is normal, but uh, we can check um, in the front part of the LBA, the data error is accessible, but let's check the ending part of the data error. For example, we can try to check the 15000. Now we check this part and see if the data error is accessible or not. Now we can see that the ending part, some of the part, the data error is uh, not accessible. So we need to fix this partial sector access problem uh, because we have the backup of the end list. So at this time we need to try to write the end list back. Now let's try to write here the end list. Uh, we can write by SYS mode. And here we note the original. End list. Let's confirm. Uh, this is the SN number AJTY. So, okay, so that means this is a correct working part and this is a correct file. Now we select this ng list and then uh, we can try to write. Write this one and uh, check this one so no. And then we go to SCOM terminal. Uh, write success, come terminal, we try to view the end list and then uh, clear the genist again and then regenerate the translator. Now we just need to wait until the regeneration completes. We need to connect again the team viewer because the user is using the old version of team viewer. So need to connect again. Now we can see that the transcendent regeneration process is still going on.
now we just need to wait Now we can check the ending part of this hard drive and see if the data error is accessible. We can try to start. Now we can see that the data error is fully accessible. So after this firmware error is fixed, we can go to the C panel and then open uh, DDP data recovery program then um, new project next file extraction now we can see this is the last partitions and also the last folder so users can now recover this lost data. Thank you for watching this video.